Welcome to GoGet IT. Today we are going to see a very basic application of delegates by considering a real world example. Before we proceed further, I would encourage you to please go through basics of delegates mentioned at the top of the screen. So to start with, we will assume a product cart application with some set of products. Here you can notice we have a class called products stock which has some properties say product ID, product name, product count and expiry date and which has a method called remove products from stock. Now there are certain client applications say application 1 and application 2 which wants to use this class which is product stock to delete some of the product from there or to remove products from their respective applications based on certain criteria which are mentioned here. Say for application 1 the criteria is number of products or the product count and for application 2 the criteria is expiry date. So in all the application is <clears throat> these application 1 and 2 wants to remove products from their stock based on certain criteria. Let's try to achieve this by writing some code. Here we are going to see a console based application. So as I said we have a class which is created by some third party agency and we want to use it in our application to remove products from our database. So let's develop the class. So we'll develop a class called as products in stock. which will have some properties called say say we consider it as a string which will be a product name another property will consider it as a product count and third and the last property will consider it as say uh, date time format will take here and which will explain the expiry date property of the product and as I said earlier we will have a method say we will declare it as static method so no need to create the instance of the products in stock class which will have void we will name it as remove product from stock which will accept list of products so here we'll declare list of products in stock this list is nothing but the list of products available in a database now initially suppose application 1 wants to delete the product from their database based on product counts so we'll write it as like this we'll have products and we have the collection in the form of LST products now as it is based on product count so we'll write the if condition saying that item dot will have here the product count if the product count is equals to 0 then we will remove that product from the database so we will directly print those product names on the console so what we will do here we will print it as remove product we will print the product name from the stock and pass the respective name of the product item dot product name that's all so you can notice here we are writing the product which are out uh, which are which should be removed from the product database based on product count as soon as the product count reaches zero we should remove it from the product stock so that's it this is the third party application or the third party class which is available for the 
applications client applications so we'll write it as third party class available for client applications and in the main program what we will do here we'll create a list of products name it as lst prod equals to new list of products we'll add some dummy list uh, dummy products into the database so say we'll name it as product name equals to product underscore one second will pass the product count equals to three for example and lastly will pass expiry date equals to new date time equals to say 2013 month 03 and date as 26 so we'll see what is required here here we need a curly brace that's all so we have successfully added one product likewise we'll just do a copy paste and that's how we have added five different products so this is just sample products we are adding we'll pass the product count as 0 here we'll pass it as 2 0 and 0 and date and time is uh, we'll pass here 14 2014 here 13 month uh, second will pass year 13 month march uh, will pass date as different here we'll pass it as 16 and this should be 2015 perfect so till now we have added five products in the database for example now we'll call the method called remove products from the stock so for that it's a, as it is a static method no need to create the instance products in stock will give us the method name remove product from stock so here you can notice that it is accepting list of products whatever list we have in the database so we'll add this recently created list of products and that's it so what this is doing here this remove products from stock we are using this third party method which is provided by this class products in stock it will remove all the eligible products whose count is zero from the database so let's see whether it's working or it is giving the expected results or not we'll execute and you can notice that product 2 4 and 5 are removed from the stock so we'll check you can notice here product 2 has a count 0 product 4 has a count 0 product 5 has a count 0 and these products are removed from the stock now there is a catch here if you notice that here application 1 has a criteria of product count now say the same class should be used by application 2 also but for application 2 the criteria for removing the products is something different here it is expiry date then what will you do if you notice here this method is specifically for product counts only as you can see here we have hard coded the product count equals to equals to 0 so this method this specific method cannot be used on the basis of expiry date for that we have to create some other condition or we have to write some other method which is not feasible in real world so here comes the delegates delegates makes your code reusable that is the basic functionality of delegates 
So let's see how delegates helps us to make our code reusable. So what we will do here, we'll create a delegate first. We'll create a delegate, say delegate, void, name the delegate, uh, we'll name it as say eligibility, eligibility delegate, which will accept product. That's all. So we are de declaring a delegate which will accept a method whose return type is void and whose who uh, which will accept products in stock object. So to um, match the signature of the delegate, we need to create some methods which matches with this delegate. So before that, I want to tell you that we are main motto here is to remove this hard coded condition so that this particular method should be reusable in any other case as per the client's requirement. So what we will do here, we'll create a method, say we'll create a static method basically, which will return bull, bull for whether the product is eligible to be removed from the stock or not. So we'll write it as remove product or we'll rather we'll write it as eligibility on count basis and we'll pass the products so what this method will do we'll write it as prod dot product count equals to equals to zero if it is true we'll return true that's all this method eligibility on count basis is doing a generic operation for all the products if the product count reaches zero it will return true as false now you can notice that here this method signature and the delegate signature matches. So what we will do here, we'll create the delegate instance. Eligibility delegate, name it as delegate or delegate, delegate instance equals to new delegate and we'll pass this eligibility on count basis method here. Now till now, something wrong has gone here. We'll check. Okay, the mistake we have made here, you can notice here we are returning bull, but the delegate signature is returning void. So instead of that, what we will do, we'll make it as bull. So you can notice that we are matching with the method and delegate signature. Now the same delegate, whatever we have created, will use that delegate in the service provided by the third party class. So we'll change the method signature here and we'll pass the eligibility delegate say del and this delegate as I suggested earlier or as I, we are showing here that this delegate will have a signature method which will decide the product count and it will return bull variable bull boolean value which we can make use of here in this if condition so what we will do here we'll use this del variable something like this del and as it is expecting a product in stock item so we'll pass that item that's all so this what this statement is doing is it will take specific product and it will pass it to this eligibility on count basis method and on the basis of product count it will return true or false 
Now you can notice that we have made this remove product from stock as a generic method which can be used in any case as there is no hard coded item. Yeah, this error will come definitely because the number of parameters are not passed properly. We'll pass the delegate here. So what is the delegate name? Delegate inst. That's all we have done. We have achieved the reusability of the code. So you can notice here on the basis of count, we are passing, we are using the reusing the product in stock method, which is remove product from stock. So on execution, if you see, you'll find that two, four and five are removed from the stock. As earlier, we have shown that two, four, five has a count of zero, zero and zero. So these are removed. Now, as I shown again, that application two has a criteria of expiry date. So let's see how to achieve this. Now to achieve this, we don't need to do anything. We just need to create one more method. We'll copy this and we'll name it as eligibility on expiry date basis and product dot expiry date is less than say date time dot now. So what it is doing, if the expiry date of the product is less than current date, then we should remove this product from the stock. That's all we are doing. Now to achieve this, what we will do here, we'll copy and just comment this part, which is on the count basis and we'll remove this method on expiry date basis. So you can see the flexibility of reusability of the code by using delegates. So here the expected result should be here. You can notice that the expiry date of few products has 26th March, 2013, 26th February, 2013, 16th March, 2013, 26th March, 2015. So ideally speaking, current date is 26th March, 2013. So ideally speaking, if you see product number three and four should be removed from the stock. Let's execute and let's explore the result. Okay, so fine product one, three and four has been removed from the stock as we have, we are checking here that it is less than not equals to. So definitely product one, three and four are removed from the stock. So you can notice here the flexibility achieved by using the delegate as compared to the hard coded stuff, whatever we used in the initial case. You must be knowing about a terminology called Lambda expressions also. You can make use of Lambda expressions again here. We have covered Lambda expressions in our other session. You can definitely refer it. So Lambda expressions, we can remove the complete this method implementation by lambda expression like this, something like this, will pass the LST product. And instead of this delegate instance, what we will do, we'll pass it as item, item dot. So here you can get the methods, all the properties. So product count is equals to equals to zero. And that's all, you have achieved it. Again, if you execute it, you will get three products, two, four and five, which has count equals to zero. I hope this has clarified your all the basics of delegates and the applications and the reusability achieved using delegates. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.